What's good guys, I'm Dave and in this video I'm going to share the best food halls in Denver to help you plan your trip here or discover a new place if you're new to town. If you're not familiar with food halls, they're essentially fancier food courts with better food and cooler ambiance. Someone got really mad at me in the comments once for calling them glorified food courts, but really, they're really nice food courts. In general, they can be a great place to go with a group of friends that can't collectively decide what they want to eat, and they're generally pretty fun places to hang out. Instead of the stalls being filled with fast food chains like you'd normally find in like a mall, they're normally local small businesses that specialize in a specific type of food. Occasionally, some of the stalls become so successful that they end up graduating from the food hall and opening up their own brick and mortar restaurant, which is super cool to see. While Denver isn't really known for being a food city, we do have cool food halls that are really fun to check out, grab some different food at reasonable prices. With all that being said, let's talk about some Denver area food halls. I'll roll through them pretty quickly because ain't nobody got time for a 30 minute video. Starting out with Avanti Food and Drink. You pretty much cannot talk about food halls in Denver without talking about Avanti. Avanti is a favorite after work spot in the Highlands. They have a bar area, some great outdoor seatings, and some of the best food halls in the city. They also recently opened up a second Avanti location in Boulder as well that has really sweet rooftop views. When it comes to really flavorful food hall eats, Avanti always seems to get some of the best in the city. One of the cool parts about Avanti is that it started out as kind of an incubator space, a place for chefs and restaurateurs to test out different ideas. Since it opened, many of the stalls inside Avanti have graduated to open their own brick and mortar standalone restaurants. So when you go to Avanti, you might actually be trying out the next cool Denver restaurant before it becomes one. This is my personal favorite food hall to take out of town guests because the food is good and it's very lively in there. It's just kind of a fun place to be. It's also one of those places where the atmosphere is cool, so it might make your food taste a little bit better than it actually does. The Denver location is generally the one that people refer to when they talk about Avanti, but don't sleep on the Boulder location. It's super clean, it's really nice. The food is also good there. Whether you're in the city or you're north in Boulder, you can get some Avanti. Next, one of the newest food halls in town is Junction Food and Drink, which opened during the COVID pandemic and quickly became one of my favorite food halls in the city. I live south of Denver, so Junction gives me a cool food hall to hit without going deep into the heart of the city. In general, I really like the atmosphere here. It's really bright, it's not in the heart of the city, and it's not trying too hard to make it look like it is. While the interior of Avanti has more dark woods and feels more conducive to nightlife, Junction is unapologetically very bright and very clean inside. It's kind of like a family-friendly food hall. It's basically one long open space, so it's really easy to walk down, take a look at all the stalls that are there, and decide on what you want. While Junction partially opened up during the pandemic, pretty much all of the stalls are up and running now. They have pizza, barbecue, tacos, ramen, sandwiches, a bunch of good stuff. Junction was already pretty good when only half the stalls were up and running, now it's even better. I really like the atmosphere here on the weekends, it's not super loud and they're normally showing sports on the projectors and TVs throughout the space. And really the only food that I'm not crazy about at Junction is the pizza, it's just okay and it's pretty expensive. Normally we get the shawarma or the fancy sandwiches, but now that smoke is there I'll definitely get barbecue there too. A lot of people think that Zeppelin Station is a little bit too cold and industrial, then Avanti might be a little bit too hipster and nightlife for you. Junction is kind of right in the middle. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give it a like to help more people learn about these food halls in Denver. Let's head northwest to Edgewater Public Market, which might be the most surprising of all the food halls on this list. There's actually a very popular video on YouTube where a YouTuber calls Edgewater Public Market the best food in Denver. It's not the best food in Denver. That being said, it is huge. It's very cool inside. The food is good. They have a ton of variety and it's pretty much tucked inside a neighborhood. Also, if you're coming from out of town, they have a really cool sign outside that's just begging for photo ops for you to post on your Instagram and there's a lot of variety in the food stalls inside. When it comes to the sheer number of food stalls inside Edgewater Public Market, you'll be surprised at how many they actually have. They have arepas, they have empanadas, they have lobster rolls, they have mac and cheese, they have burgers, and more. I've had the arepas and the sliders here. Both are pretty much what you want to get out of your food hall experience, which is diverse food and also indulgent classics. They also have a really great ice cream shop that's connected to the food hall, which is really great when you're looking for a convenient after food snack. It's a big, cool space with a lot of variety that appeals to pretty much anybody that you might be hanging out with. It is a little bit modern and industrial inside, but I don't think it feels cold. If you happen to be on this side of town, I definitely think that it's worth checking out. I wouldn't go out of my way to go there, but if you're in the Edgewater area, definitely stop by Edgewater Public Market. Okay, so this next one isn't in Denver, but if you're up in the Boulder area, check out Rosetta Hall. This is more of a bougie, fancier version of a food hall that's kind of fun to check out. 
If you're up in Boulder doing Boulder things, Rosetta Hall is worth checking out. I do actually think that the Avanti Boulder location has better food, but Rosetta Hall is interesting for different reasons. Instead of walking up to a stall, placing your order, and walking away with your food, you order your food on your phone and they bring it to your table. It's kind of a hybrid food hall sit-down restaurant experience. They have a wide variety of food from modern Mexican food to Asian street food and the presentation is really nice and it's a little fancier than you would expect. Food hall food is definitely a step above food court food but then Rosetta Hall food is a little bit above that. Especially if you're up in Boulder with some people that might be uncomfortable with a regular food hall experience or maybe they're just a little bougie, Rosetta Hall is a cool option for you to check out. My main gripe with Rosetta Hall is that the price that you pay for your food is a little bit expensive for the amount of food that you get. It's in Boulder, it's also a little bit fancy, so you kind of get hit with a double upcharge there. In general, when you go to a food hall, you want to feel really full when you leave. You can pretend that you're going to be full when you leave Rosetta Hall, but you won't be. Especially if you're coming from out of town, Denver Central Market is worth checking out. It's great for photo ops, and it kind of has the perfect ambiance for good conversation. The food options are pretty limited here, but it's a really open, inviting space that's just a nice place to sit down with a drink or some food and hang out with some friends. I do love the pizza here, but the options are pretty limited. It's also right on Larimer, so there's a very good chance that you're going to be either right by it or pass by it while you're in the city. So yes, the choices are more like sandwiches, salads, and pizza here, but if you're coming here, you're really probably coming to hang out and be in the city. Now let's talk about some other food halls in and around the city that I didn't put on this list. Another popular food hall is Milk Market, which is probably the coolest looking food hall for Instagram, but oh my god, is it overpriced for okay food. While I'm not a fan of the food at Milk Market, it is a really cool place to check out and take some pictures while you're visiting Denver. Broadway Market opened to great fanfare, but it feels very cave-like to me and the seating options are kind of limited. I'm not a huge fan of it. They did close down during winter for COVID and I'm hoping that they come back in a bigger, brighter way. If I made this video a year ago, I probably would have put Zeppelin Station on this list, but now every time I go back, it just keeps getting worse. I used to love the variety of food here and the cool pop-ups that would come here from New York City inside this Rhino food hall. Lately, the food has been just okay, and the ambiance is super cold and industrial, which a lot of people talk about when it comes to Zeppelin Station. I used to love taking friends here for interesting pop-ups and food, but now I'm just not a big fan. There are also some very small food halls in Castle Rock and in Golden, neither of which I think are really worth going out of your way for if you're coming to visit Denver. The one in Castle Rock does have some good fish and chips, but really, they're both really, really small. We'll soon be getting a new food hall in Greenwood Village that I'm pretty sure will be the best food hall in the South Denver suburbs. Whether you're coming to visit Denver or you're new to town, food halls are a big part of the Denver food scene, and I hope that this video helped you discover some new places to check out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or share it with that friend that you're coming to visit Denver with. Thanks so much for watching and have a great time checking out these food halls.